episode of We Are One. Hey, what's going on, Kiss Army? Here I am, and here you are. Welcome to the Psycho Circus, and welcome to the show for another episode of We Are R1. Where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Gene Simmons talking about the fact that he thought he was the only songwriter until he met Paul Stanley. We're going to be taking a look at this piece from rockcelebrities.net's Beecher Svednick. Kiss Bass's Gene Simmons recently appeared as a guest on an episode of a Facebook Live program named Chief Chat. The musician recalled that when he first met Paul Stanley, who would become his longtime bandmate later. KISS quickly drew significant attention with their music and dazzling stage costumes and makeup as one of the most influential rock acts. Since its formation, Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley have always been the band's leading figures. They had initially found a local band named Wicked Lester, but later on they decided to form a new band with a different style that would eventually become KISS. Their creative partnership over the years has significantly contributed to the band's massive success. Their great harmony indeed moved the band to a higher level. While you may think that they had a perfect energy since their first encounter, considering their rel relativity and longevity as a duo, the situation was far different, as Gene Simmons revealed during his recent appearance in that program. Gene stated that he thought he was the only one who could write songs until he met Paul Stanley. When they first met, he learned that Paul also wrote songs and asked him to play one of them. The bassist thought it was a perfect song, but Stanley didn't like it when he started to play one of his songs at Stanley's request. Gene Simmons said he thought Paul disliked him when they first met since he probably found him arrogant. He is very grateful, though, today that they could get through that stage and become two close friends that they are today. Gene Simmons said the following, quote, I met poor Paul at a friend's house, Stephen. I was delusional and continue to be. I thought I was the only one who wrote songs. I know that it sounds stupid and crazy, but I thought Lennon and McCartney and all the other people wrote songs. That was another reality, another dimension. In the real world, I was the only one I knew who could write songs. I figured it out, so when I was introduced to Paul, Steve said, You know Paul writes songs too. I said, Oh yeah? Let's hear one of your songs. So he played a song called Sunday Driver, which we went on to record and became Let Me Know. Wow, that's really good. So he said, why don't you play one of your songs? And I played, my uncle is a raft slash he keeps me floating. He said, what the heck is that? It was one of my classics, which nobody has ever heard since. The first impression was he didn't like me at all. He thought I was arrogant, full of myself and delusional. And thank goodness we both got over that. Gene Simmons was utterly delusional about his songwriting skills until he met Paul Stanley. He assumed that he wrote great lyrics, but the negative reaction he received from Paul proved him wrong. However, that didn't affect their relationship, and they can stick together for the rest of their music career. So many of you have probably heard that story, but just in case you haven't, that is the recount of Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons finding out that the two of them wrote songs that would lend them to become a lifelong partnership. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you, and remember, God gave rock and roll to you.